In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to georeference. Georeferencing is the process of giving or correcting the spatial reference of data, usually a raster. This is a common task usually used to align aerial imagery or scan topographic maps to buildings, roads, or other shapefiles that you already know are correctly placed. For this example, we are going to start with nothing and build a fully georeferenced base map so buildings can be digitized from it. If you have aerial imagery provided by an organization or the government, it is probably best to use that. It will most likely be high quality and might already be georeferenced. We are going to use Google Maps to acquire our imagery. Open Google Maps and find the location you want. Make sure you are zoomed in enough to make out the details. Take a screenshot using Print Screen. Using an image editor like Photoshop, cut out the area that you want so you don't include any of the Google Map tools. Save the aerial image in your workspace folder. Go back to Google Maps. Click on the Labs icon at the top right and enable the Lat Long Marker tool. This allows you to get the absolute location by right clicking anywhere on the map. Select at least four places in the area that you cut out from the screenshot to be your reference points. I find it useful to select corners of buildings or easily recognizable objects. Four places is the minimum number you need to have good alignment. Now you need to create a shapefile to hold your reference points. Open Art Catalog and go to your workspace. Create a new shapefile by right clicking New Shapefile. Name it something like Ref Points. Now set the spatial reference by clicking Edit. We want to use the same spatial reference that Google Maps uses, which is the World Geodetic System 1984, more commonly called WGS 1984. Go to Select, Geographic Coordinate Systems, World, WGS 1984, Apply, OK, and OK once more. To add the reference points to the shapefile, open up ArcMap and add the reference points file. Activate the Editor Toolbar. Start editing and make sure you are targeting the Reference Points layer. Click on the Pencil tool, then right-click in space and go to Absolute XY. Enter the lat longs of your first point. Remember, X is horizontal and corresponds to the longitude, and Y is vertical and corresponds to latitude. Hit Enter once you are done, and that point is created. Repeat this process until you have the desired number of points. For this tutorial, I've already created the points that I need. Once you are done, click Save Edits in the Editor Toolbar and Stop Editing. Now add the aerial image to the map scene. Because ArcMap has no idea where to put it or how big it is, it will not be visible to you. You can click Zoom to Layer to see it if you want. Activate the Georeferencing Toolbar. Make sure the target layer is your aerial image. Zoom to the image layer. On the georeferencing toolbar, click the Add Control Point icon. Find the area of the first control point and click it. A point will be created, and a line going to that point is visible. Move your mouse over to the table of contents, right-click the reference points, and zoom to that layer. Find the reference point that should match the point on the image and click. Repeat this process. After the second point is connected, the image should be about the right size. After the fourth point, it should be lined up correctly. If you made a mistake by placing a point in an incorrect place, you can delete the control points by opening up the link table, selecting the point, and clicking the delete button. Once you are done and the image is lined up correctly, go to the georeferencing menu and click Update Georeferencing. This saves your control points and creates a spatial reference file automatically. Now that you have your aerial image, you can digitize the buildings and roads. The main things you want to remember when georeferencing are to spread your reference points around. They don't have to be in the corners, but you don't want them to be clustered or the image will not line up correctly and at least four points are needed to make a good alignment. You can send in your questions or requests to arctutorials at gmail.com. Thank you for watching.